Hello and welcome back to another Space Engineers Showcase video. In today's video we're looking at another mining ship and this one is called the Hybrid Tunnel Miner which is this lovely thing right here. So this is a fairly large small block ship that features both ion and atmospheric thrusters. We've got four drills at the front along with two Gatling guns to defend ourselves and four medium cargo containers to store everything inside it. Pressing F10 and finding the Tunnel Miner in the spawn menu, there it is and its full name. We also have our complete description telling us everything about this ship and all of its components and it is 1070 small blocks using none of the DLC packs. So we should just give this a little thumbs up then we'll go around the outside and test it out to see how it handles. Yes, coming all the way over to here at the very front, get my character off the top there, there we go. This is what we get. At the very front here we've got ourselves our standard cockpit to fly this thing around with an air vent attached onto the front of it to make sure we don't suffocate while we're out and about on a non-oxygen planet. Just below that two Gatling guns to shoot down any pesky drones that catch us by surprise in the event we don't have a escort along with us to take care of them. Below that we can see an ion thruster because we are space capable and we can go off and mine asteroids and just below that we got ourselves a ore detector to find all the precious resources. On the left and the right hand side four large drills set up in a way that we can just drill straight forwards through a mountainside with no risk of damaging this vehicle and of course we've got some spotlights to light up the darkness. As we move around the side here we're going to see a lot of thrusters, atmospheric thrusters, ion thrusters to make sure we're good for everywhere. As we continue along we're going to see the start of a few medium cargo containers to store everything up, our connectors to load and unload goods with a camera on top to help aim this up in first person. As we continue along to the back there we've got ourselves a battery to power this thing and a lot more thrusters. Moving all the way around to the back this is what we get a bunch of small atmospheric thrusters, two large atmospheric thrusters and a couple more ion thrusters to help with space along with another connector camera setup with a merge block just in case you need it. As we move up and above this mining ship we're going to see guess what more atmospheric more ion thrusters and of course some conveyors coming across from our connector at the back there and connecting all the way to the internals. As we move towards the front we'll see a few small batteries and an antenna to make sure we can always find this along with the top of a few more batteries and we can see another sneaky conveyor right there. And as we come down and underneath past our cockpit we're going to see two connectors. The connector at the front is the ejector to get rid of any unwanted stuff inside it and it's been clearly labelled with an LCD screen. Just below that we've got our proper connector to dock up and once again it's been clearly labelled by an LCD screen. If I was to zoom out and look around over to here we can see all the internals of our thrusters, small batteries and of course medium cargo containers in the middle. Then moving towards the back there we've got some more thrusters and we can see how our merge block is just hanging off the back there. Which means we can come all the way up to here and get a sneaky look up here where not much is going to be revealed. Anyway with that all done and out of the way that is a brief around the outside there is a lot going on with this, a lot of thrusters everywhere to make sure we can dig straight down in a 90 degrees angle even when we're full up so we can go make, I don't know, an underground base. Yes with that done and out of the way I can grab my character and we can come all the way up to here, get into the cockpit and we can go through the hot bar. So number one, two, three and four are for our thrusters around this ship. Number one and number two is going to be to turn on and off our thrusters. So pressing number two we'll switch everything off and number one will turn everything on. Three and four is for our braking thrust if we want to be extremely lazy while digging a tunnel and that is what I did over there where we can turn off number four which will turn off all forward facing thrusters so they're all turned off so if I hit forwards we will now just glide along without using any power. And pressing three we'll turn them back on and we'll come to a complete stop. On tab number three we then got controls for our PAM script where number one and number two will be to move up and down and select one of these options. We can use the script to make an automatic mining system where we can tell it to go mine somewhere and then once it's done we can make it fly back to our base via coordinates. But I won't go into detail on that because I have covered it in a previous video. But yes one and two will be to move this up and down and three will be to press enter. 
Number four is going to be for our sorter block to activate our ejector on and off. Five and six will be to align ourselves to the planet. Pressing number five now, we'll now adjust ourselves to a nice flat and straight so when we're ready to mine I could just turn off the braking thrusters move forwards activate the auto miner and then off we go and of course six will be to turn that off seven will be for the hydrogen engine on and off in case we need the extra power and number nine is for our O2 H2 generator on and off tab number four is empty so it's time to fly this thing around so moving forwards this is what we get we've got a nice lot of speed thanks to all of those thrusters at the back there and we can go quite fast, in fact faster than some fighter ships that I've showcased. And stopping as well is bloody fantastic, which is what you want from a mining ship. Moving down, and then going up, moving down is a hell of a lot slower than everything else. Moving up is fantastic, which again is what you want from a mining ship. Going left, and going right is not bad, it's a lot slower than going up and forwards, but it's a lot faster than moving down. Then of course moving my mouse around this is what we get there is a slight bit of weight on here but it's not too bad and you can always slap on a, another gyroscope if you wanted to have it a bit more floatier and more responsive that done and out of the way we're going to come straight over to this tunnel that i'd done earlier and we're just going to fly in fact we'll start a new tunnel we'll just go and cross the path activate the mines and we're going to just come over to tab number three align ourselves to that and we're going to move forwards, turn off our braking thrusters, activate that, and we're going to cruise along. That's a bit fast. Let's go like that. So here we go. We're just going to go straight through this. It's a very nice little ship to play around with. We can make a big hole when holding down the right mouse button. So if you wanted to mine out an area for a base, then this will be a ship that's going to be useful for you. Just going straight forward through here. We can just keep holding forwards. There's no risk of damaging anything on this. It's a very sturdy ship to play with. And if we ever lose alignment, we can press 5 and we'll just adjust ourselves. Yeah, it's going forwards like so. We're just going to keep slamming through. Hopefully, we'll come out the other side. There is the light. And we have now come all the way through. There we are. And I turned a little bit early and damaged part of the ship. But that is completely my fault. That is a tunnel we can make by holding right click. Holding left mouse button. I shouldn't really need to showcase. That's just going to collect up all the stone and make a smaller hole. There we go. We can make a nice little base inside there. And we are perfectly fine for going at a 90 degrees angle because we've got enough thrust to reverse all the way out. Go and reverse ourselves out and we should be fine to come out. There we go. And away we go. So yes, it's a very nice little ship to play around with if you are looking for a fancy miner to go drill a big hole through the mountainside. We've got four medium cargo containers on here so we can store a nice lot inside it. And we do of course have the drill heads which can store a nice bit inside them. So we're good to go mining for a nice long time before needing to return back to base. Yes, as I said, that is pretty much it for this mining ship. There'll be a link to it in the description below if you do wish to download and play around with it yourself. And I'll be back with another video some point soon. Bye bye.